Ngayon ituturo ko kung paano gamitin sa C++ programming ang conditional statements. Sa C++ programming, so pwede natin gamitin ang if statement and if else statement. Okay, so C++ supports the usual logical condition from mathematics. Okay, so pwede natin gamitin ang less than. Okay, so example A less than B. Okay, so pwede rin gamitin ang less than or equal to. Example A less than or equal to B and greater than okay so example A greater than B and greater than or equal to example A greater than uh, or equal to B and equal to okay so take note sa C++ programming ang equal to so dalawang equal symbol okay so yung equal ginagamit natin yung single na equal ginagamit natin sa initialization or sa assignment statement. Okay? So, example dito sa equal to is A equal to B. Okay? Okay, so pwede rin ang not equal to. Okay? So, A not equal to B. Okay? So, yan ang uh, logical conditions na pwede natin gamitin sa C++ programming. Okay, so paano natin gamitin ang if statement sa C++ programming? Okay, so use the if statement to specify a block of C++ code to be executed if a condition is true. Okay, sa syntax, makikita natin, so first, itype muna natin sa statement yung if uh, keyword. Okay, and sunod is yung condition. Okay, sa baba naman is block of code to be executed if the condition is true. Okay, so dito sa condition, so magkakaroon tayo ng test. Ito test natin, kapag ang condition, ang result ng condition is true, so mag -e execute yung statement dito sa baba. Okay, so yan ang syntax or format ng if statement. Now, take note that if is in lower case. Okay, so dapat naka lower case letters ang if statement or keyword. So, uppercase letters, example, capital letter yung uh, first letter niya, and sunod naman is small letter, or parehong capital letter, okay, so it will generate an error. Okay, so magkakaroon ng error kapag ito yung ginamit natin sa if statement. Okay, so dapat small letter lang yung if uh, keyword. Okay? okay, so dito sa example, okay, so ito yung example natin. So, if 20 is greater than 18, so ito yung condition natin. Kapag ang result ng condition is true, so mag -e execute yung C out, uh, 20 is greater than 18. So, magdi-display ito sa screen kapag nag-true ang condition. Okay, so test natin, is 20 greater than 18? Okay, now since mas mataas naman talaga ang 20, Sa 18, so ang result nitong condition is true. So, ibig sabihin, so i-display niya, so 20 is greater than 18. Dito sa sample program, so makikita natin kung paano gamitin ang if statement. Okay, sa main function, so gumamit tayo ng if statement. Okay, so if 20 is greater than 18, okay, sa baba, ang statement niya is C out. 20 is greater than 18. Okay, so based dito sa condition, kapag nag-true ang condition, ang output niya sa screen is 20 is greater than 18. Okay, so ngayon try natin i-run ang program. Okay, sa output, makikita natin sa 20 is greater than 18. Okay, so yan ang if statement sa C++ programming.